Hello. Light is. Better. I think that's a little better. Not good right now. The thing I was sticking my light to uh, got moved to a different room. That'll help. Get out of the way. Okay. Hey, you can see my microphone. Hello. It's too loud. I think that that seems to be all right. Looks kind of gloomy, but we're just gonna have to live with it. Um, okay, we're gonna finish the Ocean Palace today, but actually I wanted to show you how, uh, show you how, do I have food? I wanted to show you how uh, we can do the other lands. Uh, we have Tiramis and these two, so it's, it's pretty manageable on uh, hard. I think we need to get to level 80 before we can do very hard, but we don't really, need to do very hard anyway. Well, um, except I would like to do each of them once you know. bonus. Uh, I think we need to run this one. Times. I'm trying to upgrade um Mrs. Bangle. That's not really probably fine. These are like the only characters that matter and I can probably be alright. Oh wait, no, we don't want Soira in the group because she's actually hit max level, so we want to dump her. Can't upgrade her, so uh, there's no point having her sitting around doing nothing. She's not experienced now. We want to swap in... Okay, you both hit the experience cap as well. Ugh. We could swap in Rosetta, but... Oh wait, Felmina. We should level Felmina. Actually, does she have her preemptive wind attack yet? I want to see if it, um good against the uh, shiny guys that run away real fast. Gotta do request to get her, uh, get her, um, <sighs> oh, we gotta do all her quests to get the preemptive, uh, back. Well, that's fine. She can sit in the back line. Did I put her in the back line? Or did I... I did. Okay, well, she can level up in the back line, at least. Okay, so first, we're gonna do a quick run of uh, Otherlands, Rattle Region, Hard... Ooh, that's not how Otherlands, Hard, Rattle Region, Area 2. We have three bosses here, and a horror. Um, I think we can, we can take them all on. We will need to eat our food. But, uh, this is actually very manageable because these guys are a bit OP. I don't know how OP she is. Probably need to get her other skill. Usually, I, I don't think a, an, a, another style unit with only one of their two new skills is usually all that cut off from half of what they're supposed to do. Okay, I think Summoner's Gift is enough to deal with all these guys. It's one that you get into level 60. Just can't no one get everyone into Dragon Summoner! Probably continue the main story next, just just so we can um, upgrade Tiramis. Let's go all out again. If we can get her third skill, her uh, dragon's Did you see my summoner's, summoner's ritual, summoner's gift, summoner's prayer. We want summoner's prayer. That can do up to what three hundred thousand fixed damage. We, we want that. That would be pretty Get sweet. Your knees and surrender. You can already do some pretty high damage with her uh, twin dragons. Nice. Most, mostly for another force. But that just kind of falls off against bosses. Play, so. we, we've been relying on it, but we can't rely on it forever. So Victor and Nikoko are going to have to take over. And Nika has to take over as well. As healer. We need to do her quest. And she's even in antiquity. Clearly, she is one of the best characters. Equity is great. I rather imagine not everyone loves antiquity as much as I do, but I adore it. It's beautiful. I like the style. A lot. It looks very cool. I like, I like present Valeria or antiquity. Blue. Sure. I'm trying to think. I was gonna say I like. I'd like, I actually like the present one better, but I'm like, oh, Antiquity's actually very cool there, too. Western Con. Antiquity. 
or yeah, I'm not sure how to say it. I'm not good with names, fortunately. Um, I try though, I try. I'm, I think I'm getting better at the characters. I, I don't try to call Fine, um... Prepare yourself her original name. For death. I always want to call her Cecil instead of Cecile, but I'm getting better at that. No one can so sometimes I kind of just want to call her Cecil anyway. Couldn't she be a Cecil? No one can be a Cecil if they... I don't think that's how names work. These crystals are lovely. I was, uh, I was afraid I was gonna be late, but I managed to start streaming on time. I had to go buy grocery stuff. Make cupcakes for my birthday in a couple days. That was... Well, it would have been fine, except I was looking for rice flour, brown rice. I guess I'll have to figure out how to substitute. Let's murder this dinosaur. We will lose it's gonna be so big. I'm not gonna fight that many huge non, uh, non-boss enemies. Oh, he is a boss. No, he's not a boss. He's a horror. Guardian, Tick, Long Sword of Sin. There's a, there, she has a second ability that's locked if you do all her quests. I assume it should be kind of a companion to Long Sword of Sin, where she. Long Sword of Sin doesn't seem to stack anything, so I would assume the other one is going to stack something. It's, another style character is usually stack things. But that's my understanding. I'll be honest, I've played an awful lot of Another Eden, for how little I understand it. Please don't hurt my wolf. Very rude. I also need to level up the purple team. I really would like the purple team to be able to get out there and start a start causing some chaos. But Tiramis's inclusion in the purple team is a little questionable. He doesn't even have purple hair. I guess I, guess I could swap her for Pry, but he's just about as questionable as purple as her. May as well keep the more useful character. Sorry, Pry. We're nowhere near being able to get you to play. And I think you're kind of situational. Yeah. Okay, back to Twin Dragons. Take that. Got this treasure. I do want to also try fighting the uh, Shadow Witch again. Now that we've um, upgraded these guys quite a lot and we've kept maxed out Nomar's level and gotten him better armor. So I think he might actually be able to tank some blows now instead of just immediately being a sacrificial offering and dying. <laughs> we do want to kill as many of these random enemies as spawn in each area as well. I think it's six per area. Part of where our, all our um, key is gonna go. Because... We need the materials they drop to upgrade the Hertz gauntlets which give her, I think they give anyone spirit, but might be for spear users specifically. I don't know, I didn't, I've always avoided the other lands because it was too hard for me back when it launched. Life is nothing but I could not run them until I figured out how to use Renry AS pro properly. Well, I don't know if I figured out how to use her properly, but I did actually figure out how to use her. Maybe a sad tale, but... I had Renry AS and uh, Myris AS, and I forgot I had both of them, because I, I really don't know why, honestly, I just kind of forgot. I guess I already had them, and so I didn't swap their style, I just forgot they existed, and then I remembered, and so I had to level them. Not on this game, I'm sorry. We have, we have regular Myris. We don't have Renry at all. The raptor pack is my pack. We need to charge up some. Yeah, they resist water, so they're kind of a nuisance. Hard. Well, we can try and flick sleep on them, I guess. That'll help. I forget, I really don't re want to go into this battle without her having enough to, uh, hit them. Gosh, Victor, no. Okay, front line. It's cat hook. Sort of sin. 
Don't underestimate what a dragon summoner can do! Okay, this is coming to the code here. Okay, can I get to the back line? I don't want you to die. You are here to get experience. Gift. Cap up. You don't die. They get upset when they die. I assume they get stronger. That does the... Yeah, fixed damages to everyone, and that's what we care about. The enemies that are weak to Earth, I guess the whole attack is actually good. But uh, I really only care about the fixed damage. Get pretty high, I think. We've defeated... One horror and one boss. We need to go to the next area and see if we can kill two. I really hate not killing- I, you don't have to kill every boss, but I really hate not doing it because I feel like I'm wasting these if I don't kill everyone in the, the other, other run. Especially when I kind of want to upgrade all the armors. Because uh, we're not progressing through the main story all that quickly, so. We're doing a lot of side con. Fun, but uh. It also means we're a ways off from the Perhaps high end of armor. I'm a bit rusty. I don't know how many of the pieces of Motherland's armor are actually useful aside from the one that goes with Tiramis. Let's go all out. Because uh, I would assume they've fallen off quite a bit. So I guess it depends on their abilities and if there's any benefits from them. Ow! Somehow when I went to the store, I managed Perhaps to get bitten by bugs. Walked through the parking lot. Where were the bugs even hiding? Okay, this one. That one. We're going to try and kill all the mobs and then kill the two um, bosses on this on this room. Let's see. Okay, we've still got a little bit more summoner's gift left. I don't think- Perhaps I think we're gonna run out before we, uh, kill everyone here, but sometimes that's just the way it is. Each of the enemies has a block and you need to defeat all- or the, um, uh, bosses me. has a block and you have to defeat all of them to get all the blocks, uh, to be able to do the next level. But we already Perhaps did that here, that's I'm why these rusty. are, um, these I think are orange maybe if you haven't defeated them before. <coughs> Very sorry about that. I have no idea what. Have not allergies. Sensitivity to dust, maybe. Okay, we've got what? One more. I think we've got one more. Perhaps I'm a prayer rusty. left. Yep, sorry. Prayer is the last one. Fight that yet? We are not prepared for that. We want to loot the rest of these, admire these lovely crystals, because they are gorgeous. So I think we killed all the enemies, because we haven't attacked in a while. Could be wrong, though. Sometimes it seems like they won't stop attacking you, and then other times it's like, did I kill everyone? I don't know. You didn't kill everyone. Just decided to leave you alone for a really long time. Okay. Healed up. Ready to take on... I think I just want a dino. I think... Yeah. And we've got, uh, that little dragon. I take long sword of... That's what we should do, probably, is make his quest. After we've finished Ocean Palace, we probably won't start off another episode right away. Do, uh, some main story, do some... Some, uh, character quests. That'd be nice. Do not care about your hornet. Matters Take not. This. This Tiramis shall slay him. Look at that work. Beautiful. And yep, yeah, still got plenty of mana to take on Ukulele. That's his name, Lord Ukulele. We beat him up before, and we can beat him up here as well. I, d I do not know why. I don't know why we have a dragon. I guess it's because he has Mirth Punch, and we need it. We should also work on getting the uh, adamantine weapon. Type. 
I don't know the word, but we should work on it. Lord Ukulele, look at him. He is quite the balancer. He's standing on one foot. Probably have read his dialogue, but I just skipped through it all. Sorry. Uh, another day, maybe. Most of the enemies here don't talk, so I get that, uh, probably not just skip it. Because most of the enemies here are wild animals. We are murdering for their resources. Hey, okay. Tiptoe. I don't know why I always check her. She just stays on long sort of scent all the time. She never uses anything else. Best ability for me. Well, that's not true. Sometimes we use the one to try and make them sleep. It's often not very effective. But I do try. Dragons? Come on. Do it, Tiramis. Do it. Yeah. See, this one, the fixed damage on that is not at all capped. I think we gotta get up to the 300. 300 spirit to do that. 330, I think, is the cap for all her abilities, maybe? <clears throat> Oops, hit my microphone. I also killed my voice a little bit yesterday. So I've got water. Anyway, that's Otherlands Rattle Region Rattle Region area too. Uh, I was afraid it would be too hard, but thanks to Tiramis clearing up all the mobs, we just really have to worry about the bosses. The problem is that some of them also need Tiramis, and she runs out. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't even need food, actually. It'd probably be fine. Got 9,000 gems. That's nine ten poles. That's... Man, it's been a long time since I've been able to save up that much any anywhere. Of course, you know, we have all these achievements still, so we get so many. Once you've done a lot, they really die up. Okay. Now... I want to know what the AF are. Let's just pop somewhere or something where I can check. I'm thinking about facing the Shadow Witch again. Well, I guess I can just pop over to where she is and then just run around in that little area and fight someone. Dogma Tower. Please? How much? Because I know we had to use the AF bar to kill that one thing, but I think it should be fine because we've got Victor and Let's we've been using his out. lunatic to fight bosses. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, and that, um... And that charges the AF bar pretty fast, so... Okay. Swap to the team I want to use for this. Celestial Tower. Three. Castle. I need to run. Castle again. I've been running all the uh, knights. Oh yeah, we don't need that team anymore. I have to recycle it. Into okay, Celestial Tower. This is actually the one for running the Celestial Tower dungeon. Not the one we went there. Although the dungeon is... I think I'm not gonna really... Tell Tiramis has um, her next level for ability. And I know. Okay, apparently I don't have a party. I thought I had a party set up for Shadow Witch. Uh, this one will do. Party I kind of just do whatever with. Hunt Nomar. No. What on earth did we click on? Although you are not Nomar. You want Nomar. One of our highest level characters, apparently. Nomar is here to be a defensive. Here's her for debuffs. Coco. Aramis. Hmm. Not ideal that Tiramis is still kind of our main source of damage. Very far from ideal, actually. Kind of. Power and intelligence. Pretty cool, I think. I wonder if that gets bigger, the, like the numbers get better if you, uh. I know they do with the, uh. But imagine they do with AS1. I'm afraid I'm lacking in knowledge. 
Okay, we'll just run Cyrus, I guess. We can swap these guys in for uh, CD buffs. Get up to 54 light. I mean, part of that's because, uh, let's see if I got any more. Every time I get spear light, I just, oh, we got three more. I just chuck it onto, um, Pyramus. It can increase, uh, periodically she'll get a spirit bonus. Very handy. This is bothering me a minute. Okay. Let's see if this, this go is any better. I think what we want to do is do an AF for the first part. Oh, I forgot about all this text. Glorious. Why can't I skip this conversation? Uh, we want to do an AF pretty quickly at the beginning and then build back up for her second phase. At least we'll see how that works. It almost worked one time, but then everyone died. Enjoy <laughs> the space bar, I guess. I don't know if you can hear it. I think you can hear it. Okay, finally. Summoner's Gift, Deity Guardian, Sudden Tempest. Oh, she does type attack, so we'll be failing this guard first. That's not type attack. Typeless magic attacks are not going to be very helpful, very easy to do. Should be able to do it both battles, I think, because it's two different battles. I know because the dead people came back to life for the second one. Second half, second phase. What did you do? Okay, lightning speed. That's all right. That's all. Right. And two, two, four, four, four. Eat this. Really don't do. I was gonna say we don't do impressive amounts of damage, but I guess you know it can be impressive. Elemental guard. That. Uh, here you go. Get in the light. Eat this. Better. It's for the buff, really. She doesn't. Uh, she shouldn't have any resistance to lightning. She existed before it came out. Great noise. Blade. Cat hook. Twin dragons. Let's charge that AF bar. Okay, regression is the difficult one. Yeah, that one is still almost killing us. Grimthorpe, welcome! We are giving the uh, Shadow Witch another try because. Can't help it. I keep wanting to try to beat her. Okay, debuff her again. I want to keep her intelligence debuff, I think. Very handy. And we want her to target Nomar most of the time. Stayed up till five something and only just woke up. I, uh, I may have gotten up at uh, almost 1 p.m. and realized I needed to do grocery shopping. So I was afraid I was going to start late, but I didn't. Come on. Okay. Hit Nomar. Hitting Nomar is good. Nomar is maxed out on level now, and I got him better armor, so. Want to try and get this as charged as we can. Okay, good. We'll need a little bit to charge it some more at the beginning of her next phase. Oh, we gotta skip her talks. I'm talking again. Did read through some of this twice, but not this time. I don't care. I never gave no power weapon. Bad. She's just using the generic weapon because we don't have her, and she has a specific weapon she always uses. The ones that have, like, a specific weapon they use, like, it's cool, but at the same time, it means they don't reflect what weapon you give them, and that's a little sad. The only thing that'll change their weapon is if they get a weapon. Oh, she has weird ghost arms. Okay. Summoner's Gift, Cat Beauty Guardian. Tempest, brave noise. Imagine how great the world would be if her dialogue would skip. I know! I don't know why it won't! Like when we lost to uh 
Beast Angel Geo and Guerris. It, I, we, we could skip the dialogue every time we came back to challenge it. I have no idea why we can't do that for uh, her. Like, you normally can't auto-skip any dialogue in this game, which can be an, a, a pain, but there's usually not too much repeat dialogue. Until you get to the auction house. And which is going to be kind of annoying. Sorry. Yeah, Nomar's here to provide extra... Extra... There you go. Dragons. We're gonna do a Thunderous Blade to charge the AFR up quite a bit. Then we're gonna do another force. Fiction, we win easy peasy. I hope you're right. Okay, we're gonna need to do... Lunatic isn't about to end. So we're gonna do this, this, a Deity Guardian, Summoner's Gift, and then we're gonna do an AF next turn, so long as we don't die this turn. Dark Prison. The Dark Prison is fine, I gotta make sure it's not hitting her, um... It's hitting Cash. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, we're gonna need to do... Four, four, three, four. Four, four, three, four, four. Okay, we should be able to use it now that we did that, yes. Yeah. Now we can just do all fours. Shoot, does she have an... She has a... She has an HP stopper. That is so annoying. You inconsiderate witch. still is raged on the car. Because the good part is also if she uses her MP draining attack and she's raged, she'll hit no more. Some have an HP stopper uh, where you um, the, they don't take damage once you hit it. Well, they'll take damage till they hit it and then like if you're doing an AF they won't take any more damage until it afterwards. It's annoying and I forget who has them. But... You know what? She's half dead. We can do this. Okay, no more. Still alive. Really need no more to not die. Debuff her. Brave noise and dragons. As you can see, we are not at all maxed out on the amount of damage that, um... They're out of hand. Pop in some other people here. Guard, true twin dragons. Okay, so I gotta remember, we gotta get her past her first line of dialogue. If we, uh, don't win this time, I've gotta get her past her first line of dialogue on this... They're down on this phase. And these guys again. The problem is that we've hit that stupid, uh... Omar, risk Come Victor, we need to get... We need to get back up to being able to do one more AF, that might help. Right there! Don't die, please don't die, please don't die. We're not dead. We really need to be able to massively build up her number of, uh, okay, so we're gonna do four, 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 three, and then spam four as much as we can. It's not gonna be a whole lot because we, uh, are gonna run out pretty quick. We did it! We did it! We did it! We killed her! We did it! I mean, all those people died, but they died for a noble cause! We've done it! I mean, it's as much shock as you are, Aldo. Third phase? No, thank goodness. I don't think there's any boss with a third phase. Impossible. How could I... Mm, no, my magic is draining away. How will I break the seal now? Time to say your prayers, Shadow Witch. Prepare to meet your maker. Not quite yet. I have one more card up my sleeve. What? 
source of my magic is from the Green Witch. All that grows is at my command. Get Reki, old coot. Yes, I have but to cast Arboreal Harbor. Power will flood through the Tree of Woe. No, Mom, you mustn't use the power for that. Hee hee hee, what do I care? My Arboreal Harbor, the Tree of Woe, will be able to use its pent-up shadow power to break the seal itself. No, we won't allow you to. You can do nothing. Oh, power of time. Now, Tree of Woe, manifest your power. Be free of this wretched tower which has imprisoned you for so long. Oh, it's time. We get to do that. That's what another force is, pretty much. What is happening? What are these tremors? We've been had. She has resorted to using the power of time. Wahahaha. <laughs> Shadow power for so long sealed away, now be free and destroy this world. Every continent, every human, all life, bring this death, destruction, and disorder to everything. Kirk, the tower's falling. Got no choice? Let's get out of here. Yeah, you probably don't want to be on the top of an 100 floor tower that's falling. Seems bad. It looks so nice down here. Very peaceful. Mom. Power is Mom's power. Mom's power from long, long ago. Long ago, you cast Arboreal Harbor on me. Now, thanks to that, I can... Here she has accidentally cleansed the tree. Definitely not her intention. Goodness, the tower's sinking! Maybe it was, it was a weird falling, sinking. That's bloomed. This poor tiny baby tree. Oh. Flowers, but why? Shadow power. That power pent up over a thousand year years. Where is it gone? Oh wow, such radiant flowers. This big tree is a mass of radiance too. All the fog in the tower has been blown away and now there's all this radiance left over. What, what did you say? Look, it's the ghost man. Behold, Reptiras. This is the blossom of the world tree. Once you said you wished to see them together. Mom, open your eyes. Don't give in to the food. Totally thought Alulu was just gonna run up and harvest her soul, lol. I mean, that is very in character for Alulu. Erg, my head again. Well, I guess they did end up getting to see it together. No, not yet. I will spend my life protecting this tree, and it still will not be enough. When this tree finally matures and blossoms, only then will my dreams have come true. I am sure it will bloom, and together we shall gaze upon its blossoms. Po-po, po-po-pow. Aha, that is impossible. There are other theories, but they say that it takes... One to two thousand years for a world tree to mature. Honestly, even I know that. There really isn't a shred of romance in you. Po po po. Did that wrong? S sorry. They giggle. Wrong. Oh. I wanted to see the blossoming of this world tree together with you two. Mummy. The power of the fug is weakening. Now. Ah. There. You, st you still got her, her soul being harvested. We are victorious. Why do you look like you're getting ready to fight? Oh, you're just s slashing the cloud of smoke. Uh, you, you do as you wish, Cyrus. You do as you wish. I don't understand it. Oh my. I had such a, such a terrible dream. It was a nightmare. I thought it would never end. Thanks to you, I am now free. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Hooray. It's all finally over. 
Shadow power has disappeared and the thief of the power of time is no more. I get Thanos snapped, you wretch. Finally, I have avenged King Palsipal. Mom, it's me. Oh, my sweet. I must... must apologize to you. Just because I wanted to give you a name, you have had nothing but sorrow ever since. Don't worry, Mom. I, there were times I cried because I thought you had abandoned me, but... Now, I like myself. Thanks to you, I made all these precious friends. Oh, you have grown strong, my son. My precious, precious son. I'm so relieved. I have no more regrets. Now, Riptiras. Ah, yes. There is somewhere I must go. Keep wanting to use your flick favorite slurs, but you're sure Twitch censors wouldn't like that. Yeah, yeah, don't don't use your favorite slurs. Please, please be kind. <laughs> ah, yes. There is somewhere I must go. Would you lead the way? Yes, leave it to me. I won't let you get lost. Wait, Mama. Before you go, I want you to tell me something. When you whispered my name, I I was just a normal nopow then, so I couldn't understand the words you spoke. Now I do, so... Oh, I see. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> he got cursed by being given a name, but he doesn't even know what the name is. And let me name you again. This is the name we thought of. Name we would have given our child one day. Yes, this is the name. Yes, this name is unique, made just for you. Your name is... How do I put this? He who walks with courage. That is its meaning in the ancient tongue. He who walks with courage. That is my name. Now on, I'm Popero. Thank you, Mommy, Daddy. Be happy, Popero. <laughs> Victim blaming much? Make us proud, Popero. Now he finally gets to know his name. And off they go. I guess they can't uncurse him. Blossoms from the world tree. They've all fallen off. I've heard that it only blossoms once in tens of thousands of years, and then only for a short time. It's quite romantic, really. This world tree was once the tree of woe that turned a whole forest into desert. Still no closer to finding out why. Huh? What's this, Ogre Rancorum? This great tree, I remember it. There is no mistake. I was at the roots of this tree once before. What's that? And the reason the world tree became the tree of woe? Your Ned kitten is laying on your feet as you watch. Oh, such a good kitten. I was not here out of choice. If you wish to bear a grudge, bear it against the one who brought me here. You never fail to disappoint me. Well, at least the, the matter has been taken care of. Good for you, eh, world tree? Yes, we finally beat the Shadow Witch. I know I said we were going to finish Ocean Palace, but... I wanted to give the Shadow Witch one more try. Yay! Four-star Popero. Tharsis. I'm glad that you got to witness me in bloom. And the family that tended me as a sapling so long ago has been reunited. Now that I am full grown, I shall bestow my blessings on all the creatures of the world. Here in the land of Kutruj. Nay, even far from here, forever and ever and ever. Wildy. Oh, they're ghosts. Guess they met up when they died. Now, instead of the Dogma Tower, there's a cute little forest. Isn't that nice? I don't think we can get to the world, though. I wonder if we can see it from a distance. Probably not. Come on, no more. But it is there. But we are <laughs> not in a good condition. 
Don't hurt my people. They just nearly died to the Shadow Witch to save the world. Next time, I'll be more brave. A little beat up. Ah! Can't make this turn. Where's the world tree? I don't see it. This is surely a small planet. The curvature of the planet seems to be quite intense. Okay, now we will go finish up the Ocean Palace. Next time, I'll be more brave. Okay, swap party to our Ocean Palace party. Not people. It was just random people. Story. Not Miglan's castle. Oops. Okay, my cat was coming in. Um, not two nights. Why are you crying? Purple. I'm very proud of my purple team. I need to. I need to level them up more so we can use them. Come here, kitty. Come sit in my lap. Ah! Don't hurt yourself. Purple. Oh. Look, Lulu. Show your cute, cute face to people. How beautiful she is. My beautiful baby girl. She's super adorable. She's very needy sometimes, and I don't know why. She apparently needs needs to sit on my lap and get her face rubbed. So pretty? Yes. Yes, admire my kitty. She is a good girl. Okay. The ocean, the ocean Palace. Finish that up. She is just rubbing her face all over me. Probably upset that she was shut out. Okay, antiquity. That's no. Was it? He's supposed to go somewhere that wasn't. No, we'll just go to Kira Beach, and uh, I'll. Uh... Oh wait, okay. Your beach is apparently where we were supposed to go, so all is well. Chapter 3. Retake the Ocean Palace. Otohime tries to open the jewel casket, which has a great disaster sealed within. The group sneaks into the Dragon Palace. We've got to get to the Dragon Palace and stop the half-naked guy. I don't think he ever gets a proper name throughout this entire episode. They give him a name... We finally give him a name, like, way later. What does he hope to gain by opening the jewel casket, I wonder? Who knows? The disaster and calamity are said to be sealed within. Even if this is a hundred years in the future, I can't let it be opened. Otohime is obsessed with vengeance. Vengeance? Ah! Kukens. Before coming to these waters, Otohime lived in the Western Sea, but the ruler of the Western Sea got mad at him and threw him out. It always bothered him. That's why he came here. That's why he looks so strange to us. Oh, I see. It's terrible. Turtle? Turtle. Let him go. Turtle, what are you panicking about? You find out what's going on. Well, you see, there was this big earthquake-like, and everyone was trembling and shaking. Can we guillotine the bad ruler, Sheila? Nah. Unfortunately, nah, because she is a party member. Does that mean... Yeah, Otohime's trying to open the jewel casket. There's some strict... There's a strict guard up on all the levels, so I couldn't find all out all that much, but I don't know. Maybe you can do something about him? I have trouble reading this guy's dialogue. The reason the half-naked guy was able to capture the dragon palace is ultimately down to me. Gotta clean up my own mess. I reckon you'd say that, boss. Now get on me back, I'll have you at the Dragon Palace in no time. Dragon Palace is getting a, um, part two. Well, it's not... It's like how there's a IDA to kind of a different story, but the same whole kind of. Okay, then let's go to the central keep where the princess is. He said... I can look at the story log when I'm not in dialogue. I need to go rest at the inn. This Tiramis is massively lacking in mana. Please let me sleep. A 
Never mind. HP completely restored. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Yeah, where the... I feel like that must be the one time they actually tried to translate Otohime instead of just calling him Otohime. At least that's the only thing I can figure. We need here. This fish is blocking the way. Who are you? I'm not letting you through here. Otohime's orders. I mean, we, we could just beat him up. It's a strict guard, just as Turtle said. I guess we gotta force our way through. If you cause a ruckus, the main guard might come out. We should search for another way. Another way? Just beat the Shadow Witch. We can beat anyone. Wanna go down the fishing hole again? Give me a break. Well, I will, as a last resort. But let's try something else first. I did nearly drown the last time we went through there. Conveniently, this house that we couldn't get into before is now open. Continue the story. Ooh, ooh. Did that box just light up? This is convenient. <laughs> What's the deal with that glowing box? It's giving me the creeps. Sometimes you just got a space-time rift in there. Wow, what? Or whoa, why is there a wormhole here? This be connected somehow to the half-naked man trying to open the jewel casket. It has been prophesied that if the casket is opened, the dragon palaces in every time period would be in peril. I did hear that strange things were happening at the fishing spot closest to the central keep. Do you think that has something to do with that guy trying to open the jewel casket as well? Anyway, the why doesn't really matter right now. This wormhole is exactly what we needed. What the heck's the deal with this freaky hole? I don't ever remember putting this here. Hey, mind if we use this? What? Oh yeah, knock yourselves out. Okay, we might even be able to get to the central keep by traveling to Sheila's time. We should arrive in front of the central keep if we use the wormhole by the inner wall's fishing spot. Just you wait, weird half-naked guy. Now we've probably popped down someone's home in the future, or not the future, the past. Oh, there doesn't seem to be anyone here. That's good. No one to traumatize. Look at all this lovely, lovely stuff. Mostly the coral. The coral is most. You may retain her. Okay, we need. Summoner's ritual is enough for these guys, maybe? Well, it's enough for those guys, anyway. Time is a luxury we don't have. Dragon Wall. Okay, now we're in the outer wall bamboo. That we need to explore here until we find the way. Next one. I won't hold back. It'd be funny if you went through a wormhole and came out through somebody's chimney on Christmas. <laughs> Maybe that's how Santa does it, you know? You need, a, you need like a Santa movie, Christmas Santa movie where he just pops into wormholes to get everyone's presents delivered. Rocks. Large boulder blocks the way. There aren't enough people to move it. We got Helena. She she lifted the, the rift breaker. Surely she could move a rock. I don't know if she lifted it so much as she helped it not crash, but, you know. It's a whole lot bigger than that little pile of rocks. She's tired. <laughs> yeah, she, she just wants a break. She's like, I, I don't get any story relevance for a while, I'm taking a break. Oh, what? The rock in front? Yeah, get this. So a while ago, a stone pillar by the road crumbled and blocked it up. Hardly something just one or two people can shift, so I asked an official, but no matter how long I wait, it never gets moved. A bunch of you, though, and you look pretty strong, too. I'll go and get more people, so how about it? Will you help us move this rock? Rift Breaker is lighter than it looks, a space metal. Really? Thanks. Let's get this rock moved. Okay, apparently we just have to talk to this man. You know, we needed, like, two more people. Excellent. We'll be done in no time like this. 
There we go. And push. That's not at all how he said that. And push. Ooh, you got you really helped me out. Now if we leave it here, people should be able to get by. Although it's still a little narrow. Perhaps I'll leave the removal request open. The guy with the fez is so pretty, this guy. Yeah, look at him. Look at that little adorable face. Thanks so, so much. See you around. Wait, I didn't even loot your house. I kinda just talked to him before seeing if there was loot he had. A stack of barrels, but okay. no loot. The official still hasn't shown up. When are we gonna get this cleaned up? In there. Time to continue our way. I do find it amusing that, just, that there's just like an awkward combination of uh, disease making people violent and um, and then also just, you know, Otohime being mad at us to, to explain no why you get attacked constantly dragon, here. Summoner. It's weird because it's kind of like a little city with friendly people in it, but also you get attacked all the time. I don't think there's many places in another Eden that are like that. Usually if it's like a town where you go into buildings and talk to people, it's not hostile. Fish lady. My son is such a troublemaker. Just don't know what to do with him. Recently he's been going to the Outer Wall Pine for fun, but what kind of fun could he be having there? Hope he's not disturbing the neighbors. I don't know, but I'm gonna steal your pearls. I know. What about the hostile hostile? Uh, zoom. Where's my phone? Get on your knees and surrender! Gonna recap it. Take that! Okay. Why do people not like to speak on the phone? The phone exists for playing another Eden, not talking to people. Dragon Pil Palace was built some time ago, so there's, there's a lot of repair work needed nowadays. I'm repairing the road on the inner wall, but if you find any other places that are falling apart, let me know, alright? Presumably I need- yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to tell him about that place that's blocked off by coral in the future. So that he can- uh, right. he should call me daily, got it? Yeah, that's uh, definitely, definitely what I was trying to do there. We fight for the same cause. Excuse me. Happening yawn. I love all this like whirly stuff. I don't know the weird like underwater, but also not underwater. I enjoy it. There's a crack in the floor. Okay. Tell him about the crack in the floor, then. Sir, there's a crack in the floor. What's that? You found an area that needs repairing? Yes, I did. Oh, there was a crack there as well? Alrighty, time to get a fixin'. Whoa! At least that's how I read his, uh, enthusiasm. Remove the coral? Yeah. Do a little uh, natural environment reduction so that this road is passable in future. Literally in the future. Oh hey, we found another wormhole. That's... I assume we needed to get past that ammonite over there, but I'm still... Hmm? Is that? Whoa. Ew, that was close. Yeah. We've got two hops... We gotta go back and forth through time to avoid the people that don't like us. The pity that Sheila's so unpopular in her own time, or this would be not nearly so hard. But then again, if she were, weren't unpopular in her own time, she wouldn't have been thrown in a barrel and time traveled. Uh, I don't really know where I was going with that. I guess it's just the way things are. I love Salasa's face. He just looks so smug. Love the little cat. Guard there, so he goes okay. Oh, okay. I bet that I bet that thing we had the guy repair was right there. The coral was blocking the path to that. Let's Goodness, it's been a long time. Did the ocean palace? The whole story was different. Things would be different. Shocking, I know. I had quite the revelation. 
people. We're not going to do any fishing because fishing is boring. I mean, to watch, I actually kind of enjoy it because I am an insane person. Probably not going to try and catch 150 Rin sunfish here. But I'm going to keep trying to do that on mobile. Uh, don't worry about it. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's better for you. Your sanity. Brace yourselves. Okay, oh, Hime's retainer. They're pretty colorful we fishies. The They're really, I guess, actually just kind of recolored, recolored in slightly different colorless. Actually, a lot of enemies, especially the later you get, where you realize they're kind of just a recolor slash re. Like they have the same skeleton as other enemies. After many years of planning, I finally opened my very own watering hole. I thought a secluded spot would be just perfect. It seems I got carried away with that idea. I do wonder why that barrel's glowing, though. I'm trying to appeal to the customers. Nobody wants to drink glowing stuff. There is clearly a wormhole in your uh, barrel. I will be back. But first, I gotta go explore outside a little. Yeah, they're guarding that one. Just like two separate halves, right? Okay, we can't get through there, so yeah, we gotta hop in his wormhole. Her attack! Helena is so pretty. I'm deeply saddened by the fact that she is good. <laughs> Though she's probably at least better than, um... Rika, maybe? I mean, Rika's just a... Mediocre four- uh, an alright four-star healer and a mediocre five-star healer. Fishman! Finally got my flippers on some property, but oh boy, did I draw this short seaweed or what? I mean, how am I supposed to market this place to a potential tenant? I can hardly pass it off as classy compared to somewhere like Plum. Wouldn't be profitable to put it in the price range of an outer wall property either. I've got to tell you, I'm pretty salty about this. Better than Ricka, definitely. Ah, uh, you, 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 you do enjoy hating on the Ricka for fun, don't you? I mean, uh, understandable. I am... Pedestrian footpath coming soon. Change the direction of the sign. Sure. I think by changing the direction of that sign, I have now caused them to build the pedestrian footpath in the opposite direction of the way they were supposed to. Uh, it seems like a clear lack of management where they didn't realize that the sign should. The sign was wrong and that they could build the path the other way. As yes, you do. Indeed. But I mean, they don't really need another footpath right here. There's one right there. So clearly, it was redundant to begin with. I won't hold so we back. just improved things. We're doing a we good service for the community by making them have less redundant roads, more useful ones. Eight Twenty ammonites. Okay, presumably we're gonna need another. That's not helpful at all. Oh, okay, maybe we need to pop back to the future to go through where we made that bridge. Brace yourselves. This place is kind of like a time puzzle maze. It's kind of fun, but it also kind of makes my brain hurt. It's very simple, at least. Like, it's, it's really not difficult. Kind of just bumble your way through it. At least that's what I do. Yeah, you'd assume so. Such wisdom. Let us go look at this new path we have created. I'll be right over here. Go. Yeah. Okay, now we connect to this area. Guess maybe we can get around that guy by going this way for some reason. Brace yourselves. I feel like this would all be easier if we just went to the past without Sheila. But I guess, you know, it'd be a little rude to leave her out of her whole claiming the Ocean Palace that she kind of ruined thing. Gerg, that blasted Otohime has gone and done something stupid again, hasn't she? I need to get myself over to the palace and start kicking tail fins and taking names ASAP. At least that's what I would do if it wasn't for my bad flipper, Gerg. I don't think he's keeping up with the times. Okay, let's 
We're not gonna be able to get through there, so we're gonna need to do some time travel again. Okay, there's a fish. What is it, Maui? Where are you? Get on your knees and surrender. Here's her squeaking, but I see her not. Okay, there's a time thing, Bob. Probably need to hop in there. Fortunately, we need like 800,000, I think, pearls to complete the uh, requirements. But then again, we also need 50 black pearls. And you only get those from running the very hard dungeon. And you can get one to three per time. So, you know, you might have to run it 50 times if you're unlucky. Why is everyone but me backwards? It's creeping me out. I am the one who's... Talking backwards, you sound just like everyone else. I'm not even gonna try to read that backwards because I have no idea how to do that. I'm just reading it forwards. Well, I guess I'm reading it backwards. I'm reading what he's saying and not what it's written. No, I don't think that makes sense either. Don't worry about it. Oh. Careful, kitty. Okay, she seems to be entertaining herself now. Thing. We hop through a wormhole and we immediately get attacked by fish people. Actually, that's a squid people. We have to keep going. Very long path. There'll be a path between these one day, but not right now. We are the other time again, I guess. Can defeat a dragon I lose summer. track very quickly of whether we're in the past. Okay, we're in the past. You can look at the map, apparently. I lose track pretty quickly of whether we're in the past or the present if I don't check. All the hopping back and forth gets me really disoriented. According to my predictions, there is a 99% chance that Otohime's plan will fail. Surely a usurper will show up in the next few months and fix all of this. When that happens, the chance that I will be asked to become to be a counselor is 100%. Yes, an absolute certainty. Don't know what you're on about, but, uh, have fun. I like the pillars. They're very nice. There's nothing to loot! What is the point if there is no loot? I like these little shell lanterns. Well, they're very pretty. Okay, yeah, we can get through there because there's no guarding it. First, we gotta go check out this building because it's right in front of me. You're a fool to even though I sometimes me. try not to do a massive amount of exploring, I really like wandering around and exploring. Them the path. It's just, it's just really fun. It's a good time. What's in here? Shells. I keep trying to click on the chest, but apparently, I actually have to click on the exclamation mark above the chest. Actually, I haven't checked. What did I, they say? There's nothing inside. Okay, they just say they're empty once they're empty. Some things will like have stuff in them still. If you take stuff, so I'll have like a little description. Wall? Oh, oh, we're getting the cutscene. Great, we made it to the inner wall now. Now we just need to go back to the original time from that fishing spot, and we'll be at the central keep. Avoid that fish creature. I don't think it's a fish. I don't know what it is, to be honest. I'm not knowledgeable on my sea life. Okay, back to the present. Air conditioner, because it's getting kind of cold. Not fish. We have, we have no time for fishes up in the underwater puddle. But don't worry, in the future you can go fishing in the clouds. So... Fight for the same cause. Uh, don't worry about it. You're on lockdown. I can't let you pass. Otohime's orders. I swear I've seen this sentry before. Who are you guys? Step aside. I want to speak with Otohime. 
You're Nagy, the red squid. Now I really can't let you pass. Really not let us through. I really, really can't. You really, really can't. I really, really can't. You really, really, really can't? Arg, what a pesky persistent party. If you want to pass, you know the drill. You do? Grease my palm, grease my palm. Not talking to you until you bring me 390 Atlantis pearls. I think this is like this because it used to be a lot more. That's one greedy sentry. Looks like we've got enough. Let's get through and stop the half-naked guy. Like, I think it used to take 10,000. No, not 10,000. 100,000 maybe to get past this guy. It used to be a lot to get past this part. I, I got stuck here for a while. Major trial awaits you beyond this point. Proceed? Yes. You ain't learned your lesson. I can't let you through no matter how much you... Yes. Huh? Woohoo, that's an amazing number of pearls. Erg. I, I think I'm gonna faint. I'll remember this. Because it kind of was reflecting the... The inflation of the pearls, but uh, then they dropped the requirements, you know, to make it less grindy to do the old content. So now it it doesn't really uh, something. He's gone, and he's left the Atlantis pearls. Now we can get inside. Now we can go and stop Otohime. Face, face is itchy, very annoying. We gotta stop him doing whatever he wants with the Dragon Palace. Okay, then let's go. Should be one more chapter after this one, I believe. I'm not sure why, because I feel like this is pretty conclusive. As I thought, the final piece is missing. Power is leaking out, but the seal remains in place. Hold it right there. You're not going to open that jewel casket. Though so you survived your brush with death by barrel, I see. Who would have believed it? This is most fortunate. You there, woman, I welcome you here. As I do those who have brought you to me. Welcome all. Welcome. You don't fool us. We know you've got something up your sleeve. Aha, but I have no sleeves, impudent whelp. No matter how much you howl, you won't stop me. What right do you address me? I am Otohime, ruler of the Dragon Palace. Pandora's box is rightfully mine. I can do with it as I see fit. Have you lost your mind? Your duty as Otohime is to guard it. What kind of Otohime are you? I won't let you open the casket and release the disaster within. Disaster? Mwahahaha. It is clear from your words that you have no idea of the contents of the box. Inside it? Wait, inside is nothing but calamity and disaster. Enough already. Before my sides split with laughter. In any case, the stars of fortune have shined on me. You are Sheila, are you not? I have learned that I have need of you. Discard your weapon and pledge yourself pledge yourself, and I will spare your companions. Spare them, you say? Sheila. Too bad. I'm an idiot, so I'm just going to tell you what I think. I don't think my friends are going to lose to the likes of you. You damn right about that, Lady Sheila. What a shame. You leave me no choice but to force you to submit. Feel the three-fanged bite of my beloved trident. Also his giant water horse. I don't think that's a water horse. I'm sure water horses are already a thing. Gift! Back line. Energy swift. There we go. No mercy. Pride didn't die. It's a miracle. Not dragons. X slash. Yeah, this is this is under control. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Otahime. You are no match for level 71 Tiramis. It was a rigged fight from the start. It was cool, though. Like, uh, what do you call them? Lionfish? Inconceivable. My ambitions cannot end here. Maybe it's tigerfish. Give it up, false Otohime. If you think everything's gonna go your way, you've got another thing coming. Leave me no other option. Even if we both must perish. Hello, and prepare yourselves. Erg, I think I messed up. Lady Sheila. 
I'm fine. It's just a scratch. You should see the half-naked guy. Now quit worrying and finish him Finish him off. <laughs> what? Made your last mistake, Sheila. Now your lifeblood is mine. My blood? What of it? Of course, I was forgetting what a failure, failure you were as Otohime. Your ignorance should not surprise me. Well, it seems we need something to remove the seal on Pandora's box. Something? Stop beating around the bush. What thing? See? We need the lifeblood of a direct descendant of the first Otohime. Direct descendant? 28th Otohime, who ruled here 10 years ago, is no more. I got rid of her. Does this mean that I spoiled my chances with my own hands? Sire, I consulted the archives and I discovered a most interesting fact. The woman Sheila, who was here the other day, the more I research, the more convinced I become that she is the infamous 25th Otohime. What? what what But I fed her to the fishes, too. So, once again, I foiled my own plans. <laughs> He's just really out to accidentally stop himself. So, when you appeared before me again, I had to laugh. Your stubbornness has presented me the miracle I required. But what? It can't be. Blood of the 25th, and this is the blood of the 28th on the teeth of my trident. It must be fate, a benediction of the, go the goddesses. You're not going to get away with this. Stars have aligned. Take me to Pandora's box, Hippocampus, my brave steed. <laughs> it just went boop. No, he's going to open the box. That's a big box. Did not ruin the cutscenes. My mouse in the middle of them. Jewel casket. That was the jewel casket? Giant sea serpent that has emerged from it? What's that? That's the disaster that was sealed within the jewel casket. Look. So the legends were true. God of destruction that lays within Pandora's box, Leviathan. Wahahaha, <laughs> now no one can stand against me. Now I shall claim this power for my own. Doing like a, um... Bad guy from... Jedi Academy. This have Jedi Academy on the plane of plate, I think. Hehehe, <laughs> mwahahaha. No, did he absorb the disaster? Yes, yes, I feel the power coursing through me. Feel as the god of destruction must have felt. Fear me as I rejoice in this power, mortals. Care to see my power, would you? Alice is vibrating. Wahaha, <laughs> such power. I revel in it. I rejoice in it. I have sought Pandora's box ever since I was banished from the Western Sea, but... This power is greater than I ever imagined. I shall rule the waves. No, the seven seas alone are not enough. Yes, I know. The great iceberg floating in the far north. I shall break it and melt it. What a sight that shall be, that will be. Ah, uh, but Leviathan's power has only just awoken. I shall linger here a while until it fully awakes. Very considerate of you. So that we may come back and defeat you. What is that there? Is that a tear in space-time? Did he just tear a hole in space-time with a single stab of his trident? Eh, <laughs> with Leviathan's power, it is the simplest of tasks. I must better acquaint myself with this power if I am to rule this world. Now farewell, you have my gratitude for all that you have given me. Wahahaha. Oops. Damn it, he got away. He was saying something about seas in the far north. What is he planning? He was talking about destroying and melting a giant iceberg there. If he does that, the seas will engulf the world. What? No, there must be some way to stop him. This is getting to be a problem. This ain't just the Dragon Palace's problem no more. We have to stop him. How are we supposed to follow him? 
This is what I think it is. Sorry, you're not very active at the moment. Your abode has been invaded. Understandable. Uh, a three-star level now. We're just gonna finish this up. Chapter 4, That Sinking Feeling. After absorbing the power of the Leviathan, Otohome Otohime jumps into a red wormhole. Suddenly, Sheila lights up. And you can just wander off and ignore this for a very long time if you so choose, which is kind of hilarious. Look. My trident is glowing. What does it mean? It's never done that before. Your trident? It looks like Otohime's. Yeah, his might have glowed gold, but otherwise... Lady Sheila's trident has been passed down through all the descendants of the first Otohime. He said he took his trident from the 28th Otohime. Same one, then. That means that his trident is a future version of mine, right? That means it's actually the same trident. Maybe your trident is resonating with the same power as his. Maybe you can reopen that hole with it. Well, I guess it's worth a try. Air repelled me. What am I doing wrong? Now that I think of it, he said he'd poured magic power magic power into his trident. Magic power, but I don't have that sort of power. Then how about we ask the minister? I'll bet he knows. You're right. Okay, let's go to the central keep in Sheila's era. Quest accepted. No, I didn't want to fish. Wrong button. I want to just pop, pop through time. Jump in the sinister glowing fishing spot. I guess this is like a weird area that it's like underwater, but not. I don't understand why. Don't know why that guy who was They're guarding this is gone now, but he is. Oh! Uh -oh. My jaw popped. Very irritating. Ooh, these columns are fancy. Time to take down Otohime. Well, first we gotta speak with this guy. Oh, hey, the crack exists here too. What in all the briny is this? How could this have happened? This, another tear in space time? There's a tear in your era too, Sheila. It's you. I thought you'd all gone for good, but here you are yet again. Guards, guards, guards. Wait, Minister, you have to listen to me. Something terrible is happening to the Dragon Palace. It has to do with that tear in space-time. What are you talking about? And now they explain the whole story, but thankfully, off, off screen. You mean to tell me that the jewel casket has been opened in the Dragon Palace in the future? It's hard to believe, but with this tear in space-time here before me? Oh, whoa, the Dragon Palace is doomed. Must prepare ourselves, too. We must. The Dragon Palace of the future is in a mess, but... There is a legend in the Dragon Palace that goes as follows. Disaster is awoken from its jewel casket sleep. A scarlet veil will fall. Or the Dragon Palace in the deep. Its blood red doom will fall. Across all time and space and swallow up the world. A silent end for all. No, we won't let him do that. That's what... That's what Otohime is for. Tell me, Minister, my trident isn't as powerful as the golden one from the future we saw. But if I don't bring out its power, we can't stop the disaster. Hmm, it looks to me like the trident's magic has been exhausted. I thought as much. Tohime's trident is also known as the God Seal Trident and gives great power to its rightful wielder. The first Otohime sealed the disaster in the jewel casket, the power of the trident was used. If you learn how to wield the trident, you may indeed be able to enter this tear. Okay, so how do I restore the trident's magical power? Magic power can be harvested from Atlantis pearls, but you would need a tremendous number of them. Collecting such an amount simply cannot be done. It is impossible. But... 
Wait a minute. Plenty of Atlantis pearls in my era. Yes, there are, because I ordered their cultivation. Yeah, if we were to pick them with the help of everyone in the Dragon Palace, it should be enough. Besides, there's no other way to do it. Gather the Atlantis pearls. Then leave the magic harvesting to me. This looks like our only play. Let's go to the future Dragon Palace. Back to the puddle we go. Weird that you kind of you kind of go to, you go to a room and then you leave the room, hop in a puddle, and then go back in the same room, but like in the future or the past. Oh yeah, that's uh, very sinister, actually. I think red water sky is more sinister than regular red sky. Not sure why. It just is. Time to harvest pearls. I'm calling everyone with this conch. Hem ahem. Ahu ahu. Fish people, look how beautiful they are. Ahu ahu. Ahu, uh, not ahu. Uh, Citizens, people of the Dragon Palace, this is Captain Nagi of the Squid Squad. You may well have noticed that the Dragon Palace faces perilous times. <gasps> Good fishman. That the sea runs red should be proof enough of this. We can save the Dragon Palace, but we need your help. Symbol at the central keep. I'll tell you more when you get here. That guy walking is very funny. I don't know why, it just cracks me up. Little fins. But they flop. Thank you, thank you all for coming. The peril we face is caused by uh, Otohime's opening of the Pandora's box. As we speak, Otohime is... And that is the current situation of the Dragon Palace. In order to stop Otohime, we need to gather magic power from lots and lots of Atlantis pearls. So we need all of you to help. Us gather pearls? If that means she wants me to hand over mine too? I knew we shouldn't have accepted that naked fellow as Otohime. Calm down everyone, calm down. Let's start gathering. We need all the Atlantis pearls we can get, so everyone help out and... What's the point of having Atlantis pearls if the Dragon Palace is in trouble? Can we even trust that red squid? I mean, wasn't she a favorite of Otohime? I knew no one would listen to me. I'm sorry, the people of the Dragon Palace don't think well of me. There was no way they'd prepare to help me they'd be prepared to help me out, really. I can't do anything. Maggie. Now is not the time for giving up. Vice Captain, and you. Citizens of the Dragon Palace and Brothers and Tentacles, will you really stand by and do nothing? Fearing Otohi, no. The tyrant who ruled over us, we gave up our honor and pride. Are you ready to stand by as we lose our homeland, too? Stand idly by? Why no? You, willing fo willing followers of the tyrant, think hard as well. The lord has abandoned you. Would you really go down with the Dragon Palace for a lord like that? Back, would you miss? Uh, we're trying to rally the people of the Dragon Palace to help us gather pearls. And they are not very fond of Nagi. Uh, the Vice Captain Squid showed up, though. Well, if you put it like that, for us to save the Dragon Palace, for us to regain our lost pride, let's follow Captain Nagi. Despite backstabbing Nagi the other day, he is now helping us. I'm your fish man. I don't want to die like this. I want to help her too. We'll help too. My people. Listen up. First, put all the pearls you have on you here. Secondly, search the palace in teams. Finally, dive into the sea and gather pearls from the clams, as many as you can find. Right, let's get to it. Yeah. Now, Captain Nagi, we await your orders. You were the ones who hated me the most. We feared the tyrant's power, so we surrendered to his every order. We accepted him as a way to overlook our disgrace. Now it has come to this, I finally realize. We're taking all this out on you, Captain, just to cover up the shame of our own cowardice. Captain, you spared our lives when you could have finished us off. 
When we lost that battle, we were prepared for death, but you let us live. More, you are now trying to save everyone in the Dragon Palace. Ignore you now would be absolutely unthinkable. Thank you. All right then, come with me. I don't know why they always say she's a squid when she clearly looks more like an octopus. At least all the squids here are pointy. You guys don't have any chest sashes left. I stole them all. That seems with my mouse again. Put them hard at work. I don't really know what those squids are contributing by kind of like dancing around, but... but they're there. It's rather confusing. So is she a squid cosplayer? Well, she's not a squid and she's not an octopus, but she is in fact also not a person. We've gathered all we can. I don't think we'll get much more than this. She looks like a human, but she is in fact not a human. They're doing their best. Sons and daughters of the Dragon Palace, descendants, friends of the seas. Friends of the sea, I thank you all. I am Sheila. I am the 25th Otohime. I swear on my title that I will not let you down. I will stop the tyrant and save the Dragon Palace. Okay, let's take these Atlantis pearls to the Minister and Sheila's era. Hop back to fast. In fact, Nagi is. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever get Nagi. She is um, from another dimension and was sent, I guess, to blend in and eventually take over. But uh, kind of just turned out nice. Uh, I think she's Lovecrafty and Abomination, actually. She's failing miserably at blending in. I mean, that's why she looks human. She, uh, she, her things are not, her people are not human at all. They're, um, I don't really remember what they are because I think you only see them in her quest line. This is astounding. How were you able to gather so many Atlantis pearls? Quite frankly, I thought it would be impossible. Looks like I underestimated. No, it wasn't me who did it. It was Nagi here and the people of the Dragon Palace in the future. Well, I must say that I didn't think I'd ever hear you say something like that. Hmm. So, Minister, was that enough pearls for you? Gotta get that magic into she Lady Sheila's trident. Oh, so we do. Hmm. We have great, a great many, but still not enough. A few more are required. That's not good. Everyone in the future Dragon Palace did all they could. Won't be easy to find more. I would say that if you had about this many more. And hopefully, hopefully we conveniently have. They lowered the requirements a lot, so we should have enough. If only that many, I think we have enough between us. In that case, I need only leave it to you. If you have enough, bring them to me here. I'll be waiting. Ah. That was weird. Teleported. Minister, we brought the Atlantis pearls. You did? You really did. Incredible. Truly astounding. Now let me transfer their magic into the trident. Rich. <laughs> now finally, I will wield the God Seal trident. First things first. I must extract the magic from the Atlantis pearls. Your trident, please, Lady Sheila. Now to imbue the trident with the magical power. It glow. Very convenient when your money also happens to have magical power in it. We've done it. Strike you, Lady Sheila. Okay, now I can open the tear and that half naked guy's gonna get. Wait a minute. This still looks different than Otohime's trident. It's true, his lance glowed with a golden light. 
Now that you mention it? Why would that be? Why hasn't my lands changed? Ah, yes. It's because you have yet to perform the rite of succession as Otohime. Ow, my nose! Okay, I'm good now. True. Imagine if you could get magic out of a quarter. <laughs> True what? And the what? Does that mean I wasn't actually Otohime? No, you are most certainly Otohime. But you have not performed the right to inherit the power of the God Seal Trident. You became Otohime, were you Otohime? You were too young to even lift the trident. Why didn't we do the right when I became an adult? Well, I was unsure about giving you the power of the trident because you were so reckless. But, but then... Are you angry? You just found out you were betrayed by your own retainer. No, I'm not. I understand now. The old me would have just done what she felt like with it. You were right to do what you did. Oh, I can't believe I'm hearing you say that. You have grown up into a fine young woman, Lady Sheila. The time has finally come to perform the rite of succession. Apparently involves a bunch of people. The right of succession, you must show the people of the Dragon Palace your fitness to rule as Otohime. Once you have achieved this, the trident will assume its true form. Now, Lady Sheila, share your heart with the people. Look at all these cute fish people. Okay. Friends, fishmen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Otohime not to praise her. I thought I ruled justly. Bury her? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah. Justly, ha. Evil that Otohimes do lives after them. The good they do is often interred with their bones. Huh? There are many qualities that I lack as an Otohime, and I know that there's a lot I can't that I cannot do alone. So I ask you to help me. Help me be a fine Otohime. I want to be like my mother or the great Otohime who preceded me. Your help, I can be like the first Otohime and bring prosperity, peace, prosperity, and happiness to all. Lady Sheila really saying what she think what I think she is. Have we ever seen her so serious? Can she really just change so easily? I mean it's Lady Sheila we're talking about. I have to have two sets of people trying to win over the town's townsfolk in a row. Hey Nagi, did the half-naked guy complete the rite of succession too? Yes, he did. He showed his suitability by force. Obey me or die. Tears the people consented and the trident glowed gold. What a monster. He used to suck, lol. <laughs> yes. Sheila won't do that. She's different from the old Sheila. Everyone will trust the new Sheila, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I think so too. I have laid my heart bare. Now it is for you to decide. Will you accord me the right to bear Otohime's trident? I'm a little disappointed the Upside Down Squid didn't show up. What do you think, people of the Dragon Palace? Do you remember the day the previous Otohime, Otohime died so young that little Sheila said she would become Otohime? We all pledged that we would watch over her and support her as she grew up, did we not? But I forgot that pledge and made a grave mistake. I assisted as she was sentenced to the barrel punishment. They hid that fact and I pretended that she was bedridden. So that's what was going on then. I am no longer fit for my high office. I cannot serve at Lady Sheila's side. So I beg you all, please look after Lady Sheila in my stead. Hey, don't you dare. I'll really be in trouble if you quit. Lady Sheila? Don't you get it? I want to be a great Otohime. I know, as you are now, I am confident. Are you seriously saying that? Can you honestly be sure I'm not going to make another mistake? Er, well, well, as for that, you're worried, aren't you? That's why I need someone to point out my mistakes. I don't want to be stuffed in a barrel again, but if you're not here, I'll never be a great Otohime. Snort. Ha 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 ha. It's like, ha ha, she's boasting about it. Just like Lady Sheila. That's just like Lady Sheila. Yeah, well, hey, what do you mean by that? That's the way you were. You were always honest like that. Yeah, just as the minister said. The people of the Dragon Palace all made a pledge when the former Otohime died. A pledge to protect Lady Sheila no matter what happened. We drifted apart. The reason we've decided to support you is because you are so frank and honest. 
Still pardoning the minister who consigned you to the barrel? Wow, you really have changed, Lady, Sh Lady Sheila. I remember the little Sheila who cried when her diapers were changed. Look at you now. My people. Dot dot dot. Earthquake. Not good. What the? See, this era started going funny too. Has the Leviathan's power grown that much? Dagnabbit, we gotta hurry or the Dragon Palace is gonna fall. Winds preserve us. What were those tremors? Everybody, calm down. I know what's behind the tremors. A man in the Dragon Palace in a Dragon Palace far in the future has opened the jewel casket. In the future? What are you talking about? I know it's hard to believe, but hear me out. He intends to use the power he gain, has gained to melt the ice in the Northern Sea and drown the world. Wait, but that's... Our mission, in the name of the people of the Dragon Palace, is to seal the disaster back up in the Jewel Casket. So that's why it is time for us to take a stand. Help me, everyone. Together we can save our seas and the world beyond. Let's do it before the waves engulf everything. Even if it's far in the future, it'd be a sad day if the world were to be brought to an end by the Jewel Casket. But let us entrust Lady Sheila, Otohime with the hopes, prayers of the people of the Dragon Palace. Oh, no. Like it's just sparking. There we go, now it's gold. Look, the trident is glowing. That's the proof that we are united. You are successful at last, Lady Sheila. Now you truly are our Otohime. Time to go dab that hole or that rift in space time. Do we have to go to the future or can we do it from here? People of the Dragon Palace, I hereby swear I shall use the power of Otohime to save the Dragon Palace and the world beyond. Hurrah! You did it, Sheila. Right, let's go get him. Thank you, my people. I promise you all I will be victorious. Oh, cool. We can't do it from here. Time to go face a major trial. Do it, Sheila, before his power grows any further. Lady Sheila, we're counting on you. So Hime's trident is imbued with the hopes of all who live in the Dragon Palaces now, past, and future. This time it will open the tear. Very sinister looking tear. It worked! Time to finish this. Come on, everyone. Yeah, don't let your guard down. Hop into the sinister tear. Don't be concerned about it. For the creepy ghost dimension. Why, why is it a creepy ghosty dimension? It's just hanging out here. A very sinister looking portal. It is, it is, is it indeed sparkly. So you have followed me here, have you? Impressive. Now prepare to meet your makers. Surprised, are you? Well, too bad. The only one meeting their maker will be you. Too bad for me? Fools, your time is up. Leviathan is now fully awoken. You should feel honored to be witnessing the birth of a god. But you're jibber-jabber. Seems you still do not understand. But let me burn it into your eyes. Witness me, witness me. I unleash powers never before seen. Irk, this must be the power of the disaster. Just witnessing this overwhelming power, it makes me tremble with fear. Even so, I will put an end to you. Never will I lose to you. You would defy a god, would you? You are too proud. Kneel before God. No bloody way, we're gonna kneel before you. 
Otohime, let us end this now. You can show off your power all you want. We're not gonna you know, going to do your bidding. Let's go down with false gods. I mean, it's 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 uh, it's a JRPG. I'm pretty sure you kill real gods sometimes. Not in this one, I don't think, but sometimes. Oh, I forgot we're a little low on mana. Still good. Go away. Aldo and Helena will hold down the fort. Maybe they won't hold down the fort. Fine. Front line. Rock crush. Got Killing gods is a popular pastime in JRPGs. Exactly, exactly. Everyone, lend me your strength. Try and keep this good debuff. Well, none of you were uh Jeremis, so it doesn't matter that you're dead. Nothing personal. Don't underestimate what a dragon summoner can do! I think we might have to do a really, really sad another force here in a moment. Yeah, we are. Because I kind of forgot that Tyramus was out of mana from uh, the last time we fought him. Also, we don't have our healer, Nokoko. Wait, does he have an HP stopper right at the middle? How inconsiderate. You are a very rude man. It was my turn. Okay. We should we should be able to get this though. Because the poor guy is just too low a level to cope with the their misses attacks. There we go. Got a thousand Atlantis pearls off of that. Very nice. Second phase. Nagi, Sheila. How can this be? I am kingly, divine, beaten by the likes of you. Ugh. The Leviathan is free again. I don't think this one had the second phase. Or to be more accurate, it's more like it had two phases, but they were split up for some reason. The power of the disaster has done left his body. Yes. Be defeated by such weaklings. Shame has no end. We, we're not weak. Fires of vengeance are not so easily extinguished. They will burn with an ardent flame. Wahahaha. Using the flex smoke to conceal his slow fade away. Is it over? How can you burn underwater though? No, just uh just just burn so hot you can burn underwater. I don't think that's how that works. But what? Terran space time is closed. No way, we've got to get out of here. Run, little people. The tear has closed completely. We're all here. We made it, Dagnabbit. Look, the sea has returned to normal. Saved our seas. We did it. Let's tell the people the good news. Then this era or okay. This Little one. How glad I am that you're all safe. The 
crisis is over. How can we ever thank you? It wasn't just us. We were able to do this because the people believed in, trusted in me. Lady Sheila, you really have grown up. Today is truly a magnificent day. Let us hold a banquet worthy of the Dragon Palace. And let us celebrate with the people of the future Dragon Palace, too. We could not have saved our Dragon Palace without their help. A tremendous idea. Strange tears remain in place around the palace. It will probably take some time before we no longer feel the aftershocks of the disaster. I will take care of that. Minister, the preparations for the banquet are in your tentacles. <laughs> Look at this fancy banquet. At least the upside down squid and the turtle made it here. In that case, without your help, we could never have saved the world. This is a victory for everyone in the Dragon Palace. Today, eat, drink, and make merry. Where I hear a vacuum cleaner. Oh, hey there, guys. I'm so glad we could all get together again. Arg, a monster. I see, I see. I a learned notion indeed. You are a man who truly lives up to the praise surrounding himself, Minister. Such kind words, but all I did was merely support Princess Sheila during her infancy. infancy. Both the Otohime, Otohime of our era being ostracized after the attack on us and all. A good civil servant, I would like to take whatever gems of knowledge I may from the Minister and return home. Good civil servant also knows when to loosen up a little. Relax, at least here at the banquet. Cut that dang noise out. I don't understand a single bit of what you just said. I don't see why we should have to change the way we speak. You're the upside down one, you change. Talking about him, I guess. Are you having a good time? Twins. Even across the folds of time, we brothers always will always be together. We must show our respect to you, you who stood against evil. Thank you. So weird. Be backwards is this... I wasn't expecting everyone to be backwards in this era. Could this be because of... time period that actually respects sea turtles. I reckon even after the banquet's finished, I'm gonna stay behind all sneaky-like. Aha, uh -huh, just kidding. After all is said and done, I've sort of gotten attached to my own time. Lady Sheila is so darn cool. I, I, I sure am following the right person. You were cool too, Alda, but you don't compare to Lady Sheila. Lady Sheila's ended up as Otohime in the future Dragon Palace too. There ain't no one gonna help her with some uh, with something so hard if I ain't. I'm gonna keep doing whatever I can to be a use to her. Schwids. Ha ha, our captain's gut don't know no limits. Come on, vice captain, no slacking now. Burp, I'm full to the gills. I couldn't fit one more morsel. Chomp, chomp, munch, munch, crunch, crunch, gobble, gobble. Gulp, swallow. Ah, this is the life. Aldo, why didn't you tell me you were here? Overeating is bad for you, you say? It's okay, I haven't even filled my first stomach yet. I'm grateful you were here. You helped us protect our precious sea. With all that happened, I think I had the chance to take a good look at myself, too. I wonder where I came from. I want to find out now. I'm going to search for my real hometown. If she doesn't know uh, who or what she is, I think she just replays the same dialogue. Does. Banquet's in full swing. Have you spoken with everyone? Look ready to leave. Yes. We have, in fact, spoken to everyone. Yes, Sheila, I'll make my farewells here. I'd love to stay here forever, but I've got lots of things to do in the world above. Rescuing Eden. I bet you have. I say it with a heavy heart, but I suppose this is goodbye. This looks like a really rad banquet. It does, doesn't it? Going to stay here and reign as Otohime. 
I've got dragon palaces and two heroes to look after now. I'm gonna have my work cut out for me. Feel it left your party. Thank you so much. If you guys hadn't been here, I couldn't have gotten this far. Lady Sheila. Lady Sheila. Ah, I came this far because of you. I keep saying ah, but like I. So did I. I only made it through the hard times because of your friendship. Guys. Well, well, Otohime, what's the matter? You look oddly humble. It seems like it would cause some massive paradoxes, lol. Yeah, you know, the, the time... The time travel in another Eden doesn't make a lot of sense, to be honest. None of this weepy stuff suits you, boss. Let's eat, drink, and make merry. Lady Sheila. Like, there's some of the things she did in the past that she can't correct because it needs to be like that in the future. Fix this. Then again, if she fixes that in the past, then maybe none of this ever happens. But then she would never... I, I don't know. It's very confusing. They, they kind of just ignore it entirely. Which is, I guess, the best way to do it if your time travel is uh, not particularly serious. Brain hurt? Yes. Like, the fact that you can never tra time travel. In this game, you can basically never time travel back to a point before a thing happened. Because time is li moving linear linearly in the future, the past, and the present. Which is very strange. But, like, we can't go back to the past before the, gr the elementals died. Thank you guys, too. I've got to go back to the surface now. Take care of Sheila. You're going already? Why don't you take a load off and stick around a bit longer? Aldo has his own mission. Just as big? No, maybe even bigger than mine. Alright, let's all see him off. You be sure to visit us sometime. We'll have a welcome dance prepared for you. When you want to come back, you give me a call, you hear? I'll be waiting for you on the shore. Sure thing, thanks. I will never ever use you again, Turtle, because the map exists. Thank you again, hero from the world above. Everybody laughed. That's, like, one of the main ways they end scenes. <laughs> Goodness. So much has happened. This was a good place in the end. I'm sure I'll be back someday. Hold on, Aldo. There's something I forgot to give you. I couldn't have done this without you. So, please accept this. It's customary of Otohime to give it. Otohime rewards those who've done them a good turn with a box that turns you decrepit if you open it. Wait, no thanks. I can do without that. Huh? Come on, take it. This is my first duty since being restored as Otohime. Well, if you put it that way... Hang on. Duty as Otohime? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Ah! Whoa, what's with the screaming all of a sudden? I completely forgot. The thing the half-naked guy called Leviathan escaped us. My first duty as Otohime is to seal away the disaster. Gotta find it. So what does all that mean? You guys are gonna carry on your journey, aren't you? Can I come too? Er, uh, sure. We could definitely use you and your trident. It's decided then. This starts a new chapter in our adventure. Vila rejoined your party. Convenient. Okay then, take us back to the world beyond. Get on me back then, ain't more than a few swishes on me flippers to cure a beach. And it is true, the Leviathan kind of just swam off and no one did anything about it. Don't worry. We resolved that with fishing! That, that's what the fishing is for. The big boobas don't look very hydrodynamic. Don't worry about Sheila. She'll she'll manage. Quest complete. Ooh, we did it. We completed the Ocean Palace. I do think it's kind of funny that like recapturing the Leviathan is not part of the Ocean Palace quest line, but well, I mean it is kind of, but you do it by fishing. It's just kind of hilarious to me. Seems uncomfortable. 
But yes, you know what? I wonder if it's wise to bring Rika and... Well, we didn't bring Rika, but to bring Rika and Helena underwater because they're... Well, Rika's just an android. Helena's a... like a... synthetic human or whatever. A synth human. I guess she's not all circuitry, but Rika... just an android. I can't imagine being underwater would be good for her. I like how they're, they're so much more busty in their portraits than on their models. That is funny about the Leviathan. Yeah, a lot of them are like that. Like, let's go look at... I should actually open the board, not that board. Look at Myris. You guys. Cyrus. Here, drain out Sorry, bro. You guys. There's my there's my Oh wait, I need to click status. A bit awkward to have Myris, I think, before you complete the main storyline. Look really silly on the model. Yes, I think so. I do not like her. I don't like any animation, really, that moves too much. It annoys me. I'm a very picky person. Okay, let's escape from that. Uh, let us go. I think we can look at this. I think go us. we did it, maybe. Oh, it's telling us we can do the first item, the Holy Sword, and we can do the uh, do the Lost Tome and the Unfading Flower. Getting those. Oh, we can do this one now. This is IDA two. We've cleared these ones. Also got all the rewards from these two. We do not have all the rewards from that one. Yeah. Need a male portrait with just a massive bulge. Here. Um. Yeah, we made some good progress. I need to collect a whole lot more of these. But uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start running the very hard one dungeon for that. So it'll get done eventually. We've made some good progress. And I think that's where we're gonna stop now because it's a little long time for me and my voice is very tired. So, uh, goodbye. Thank you for coming. Thank you for chatting, Grimthorpe. See you, uh, next weekend, I guess. That's when I stream. <laughs>